my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Clorox's Ultra Clean Disinfecting Wipes. Clorox sent me the Ultra Clean Disinfecting Wipes to see if I am up to the Ultra Mess Challenge. And the recipe that I'm going to be making today, I think is totally up for this challenge because it's Manchi's Crunchy Fried chicken. I've been dying to make this recipe ever since I saw it. It looks absolutely amazing. And if you don't know Manji, by the way, she is the queen of Korean cookery here on YouTube. I'll put a link down below to her original recipe and her channel down below. This recipe looks absolutely incredible. It's deep fried chicken wings that are tossed in a sweet, slightly spicy, soy saucy glaze. It looks absolutely delectable and I can't wait to make, oh, what I'm super excited about is that it contains peanuts as well. So you have the crunchy chicken and crunchy peanuts. It just looks so, so <laughs> tasty. And I thought it would be perfect for the Ultramist challenge because it involves dredging, chopping chicken and deep fat frying and tossing in sauce. So it should be perfect because I don't want to be caught unprepared. Alrighty, let's go ahead and make this. So the first thing we need to do is prepare our chicken. I've got whole chicken wings here. We're going to separate the drumette from the flat. By the way, this is three and a half pounds of chicken wings. So do you prefer drumettes or flats? I am definitely a flat. So the flat is this part right here. So it's important to remember that we're working with raw chicken here. We want to avoid any cross contamination. So after I'm done cutting this up, I'll be sure to clean all my surfaces. Alrighty, so let's wipe everything down. Now the Ultra Clean Disinfecting Wipes are bleach free and they kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses, including cold and flu, MRSA, strep, salmonella, and E. coli. Okay, let's move on to the next step. I've thoroughly washed both my hands and the chicken. Now we're ready to move on to the next step. Half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, I love black pepper, it smells so good. One teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. Now we're gonna to toss everything. It's already smelling so good. That combination of freshly cracked black pepper and ginger, so good. So I have two thirds of a cup of potato starch here and I'm gonna take each piece of chicken and dredge it in here. Make sure you really squeeze it onto the chicken. So the starch is gonna give us our really crispy, crunchy crust, but it's also gonna absorb any water. Water and hot oil do not mix. That's what causes all that sputtering and splashing. And potato starch fries up differently than flour. It has a crunchier texture than just typical all-purpose flour. Producers, like music producers, do you hear the sound? Use it. We'll call it the starch squeak. Alrighty, more chicken. Tossing a few at once and then kind of really pressing it in seems to be a little bit more efficient than doing them individually. Alrighty, so now we're gonna toss this because now it's contaminated with chicken juice. Alrighty, let's clean up our mess. So satisfying. So ultra clean disinfecting wipes are great for cleaning hard surfaces like countertops and they are textured to lift 40% more dirt and grime. Goodbye, potato starch. Wash my hands. Alrighty, so now we're about ready to fry. I've got my cast iron Dutch oven here. I've got about four cups of oil in here. Manji recommends using grapeseed oil. You can also use peanut oil, some kind of oil that has a very high smoking point. Now for deep fat frying, we want the temperature to be around 350 degrees, 295. 302. So Manchi's big secret for getting crispy chicken is that she fries the chicken twice. Once to get it mostly cooked and then a second time to ensure a really crispy crust. If you don't have a thermometer, another way to check to see if your oil is ready is to sprinkle a little bit of the starch into the oil and see how it sizzles. We're ready. So take your tongs and place your chicken in the oil. Here we go. Oh yeah. I also have a little spatter screen here on the side to reduce oil getting in my face. So that's no good. We don't want to overcrowd the pan because we don't want to lower the temperature of the oil too much. So just enough in there. Okay. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I'm so excited. I love fried chicken. I love it 
so, so much. Any kind of form, any kind of style, fried chicken. Yes. See, already it's starting to get nice and crispy. Alrighty, I'll see you back in 10 minutes. All right, so the first fry is complete and the chicken is already crispy. Listen to this. Now we're gonna fry it again to make it extra crispy. All right, here we go. Whoa, batter screen, holy smokes. You can use it like a fencing mask. <laughs> Seriously, long sleeves, yep. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, I'll see you in about 12 minutes. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're about done with our last fry. We've got oil everywhere. Take these beauties out. Look at that, gorgeous. Now I'm gonna fry up a handful of peanuts. Now Manchi says just to put these in there for about 30 seconds, and when they turn opaque, you know that they're ready. Okay, so now that the frying's done, let's take a quick minute and clean everything up before we move on to making our sauce. These wipes are 30% thicker, so they're really great for cleaning up greasy messes. Now we're ready to make our sauce, and we're gonna prepare our chilies. I have four guajillo chilies here, and we're gonna remove the seeds. So just gonna cut these into about one inch pieces. So we're gonna shake out the seeds here. Chilies are prepared. Now let's build our sauce. Heat up a little bit of oil. Now we don't want the flame on too high because now we're gonna add four cloves of minced garlic and we don't want it to burn. I'm gonna use my little garlic press here. I love this thing. I found it at a thrift store. It's a xylus. I believe it's made in Switzerland, yes. But it works beautifully. Smelling amazing. Garlic starting to sizzle. Now we're gonna add our chili peppers. Toast those up a little bit. Next, we're gonna add a quarter cup of soy sauce. That will stop the cooking process a little bit and again, prevent our garlic from burning. Okay, it's starting to bubble up nicely. Now we're gonna add a half a cup of rice syrup. You can also use corn syrup. That will make it glossy, sweet, shiny. And then to tone down the sweetness, we're gonna add one tablespoon of white vinegar. This is an interesting ingredient, one tablespoon of spicy brown mustard. Never in a million years would I have guessed this would be in the sauce. But I trust Manji. One generous squeeze of that. One tablespoon of raw sugar, brown sugar. And we're just gonna stir this until all the mustard is combined. And this bubbles up and that is our beautiful sauce. And now we are ready to add our peanuts and our fried chicken. Gee, I'm so excited. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now Manji is very talented and she's able to flip this. Now let me attempt to. Ooh. Oh. oh, it's working. Oh my gosh. This is looking amazing. Oh, I'm getting so everywhere. Oh, oh my gosh, it's looking amazing. Let's just put all of it in there. Because everybody needs us. Peanuts are flying. Okay, let me go plate this up. Whoa. Once again, wipes to the rescue. <laughs> Peanuts, sauce, be gone. Alrighty, we finally arrived to the moment that I've been waiting for, and it is to taste these gorgeous wings. I wish you could smell these. They smell vinegary and chilied, sweet and chickeny. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna have this one right here, this flat that has all those peanuts on there. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it this way so it's a little bit easier to eat. Alrighty, eat the lucky moths. Mmm. Mm. 
I really hope you can hear that. The chicken is so crispy and it's covered with this gorgeous, sweet, sticky, savory glaze that has a touch of garlic in it and the vinegar in there, perfect little foil for the sweet, sweet sauce. It's just utterly divine. Oh. Mm. The chicken is perfectly cooked. We cooked it twice. So the initial fry was to get most of the chicken cooked and the second one was to crisp up the outside, but it just falls off the bone, super tender and juicy. You've got all of that crispy skin and that sauce, it just ties everything together. So that was a flat, let's try a drumette. Make sure you have some peanuts on there. Here we go. I especially love the inclusion of the peanuts in there. They add another little bit of crunch, but then there are some echoes of roasted nutty flavors because the chicken is deep fried and you've got fried peanuts. Absolutely delicious. You must try this recipe if you like fried chicken, if you like Korean food, if you like me, if you like Manchi, try this recipe because it's delicious. Thank you Manji so much for sharing your recipe. Absolutely lovely. Be sure to check out her channel and her original recipe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and big thanks to Clorox Ultra Clean Disinfecting Wipes for sponsoring this video and allowing me to make better videos for you guys. Be sure to click the link down below to learn more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. want to swim in that. Yes. Swim, swim.